Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. It's kind of fitting to do a versus video with this track, The Touch, from the Transformers movie. The first version is Mr. Stan Bush, who performed it first and also co-wrote the track. Second version is Mr. Tommy Johansson. Mr. Tommy Johansson chose to cover this track for a reason. It's because he likes the track. We all grew up on Transformers, at least people my age group did and some of us really liked Transformers and so anyway I hope you guys like both versions of this track enjoy put in the comments what you think if you don't like either version hey maybe you like the movies <laughs> I don't know just trying to make everybody happy here it's tough <laughs> guys thanks I look forward to seeing you all in the next one a guy whose videos I like a lot his name is Tommy Johansson covered this track and released it today. I'm actually not familiar with Stan Bush. I typed it in to give it a listen and the Transformers came up. I definitely watched this cartoon when I was a kid. I don't know if I remember the track or not. We're gonna give it a go and find out together. After this, I'll jump in and see what Tommy did with the track. That's often the fun part with his videos. I dig the dude. So uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, together my uh, 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 hesitancy stuff is we'll see if it's not copyright blocked I didn't check so fingers crossed that this even airs anyway let's give it a go and let's see what Mr. Stan Bush was up to let's do this track you got the touch you got the power All right, super cheesy track here right, with what we're getting into. So I'm okay with that. I don't mind a little bit of cheese, but it sounds like there's quite a bit going on. I don't know if I remember this song.
you know, I didn't read the little titles in the beginning. And so I was thinking this must be from the film that they made because I don't remember any of this. And I don't think I ever saw the film. I did have Optimus Prime. I still have it. Still got the box for it. Even has a Toys R Us sticker. It meant a lot to me because I remember my grandparents went to go get it for me at the uh, Toys R Us. And it was a really difficult thing to get at the time, man. It was a very popular toy. So I was trying to remember throughout this, too. What's the bad guy's name that the guy turns into a gun? What was his name? I didn't have that one. So my mom didn't really like guns, so didn't have any gun stuff. Anyway, <laughs> nothing to do with the video. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the track itself, thought it was a little bit boring, on it, honestly. It's uh, typical 90s type stuff that, uh, I mean, it was cool. He did it for the film and hopefully it got him somewhere. I'd have to see if I know of any of his other tracks. But uh, I thought it was just okay. But it was fun to watch all the animation stuff. Just brings back memories. So not knocking the guy, but I don't know. It's just kind of like another song for me. So anyway, let's jump in to see what Tommy does with the track. Hope you guys are big fans and you love this track. And you'd be like, dude, you're a crappy roadie. This guy would have never hired you. He did huge tours because he knew that you sucked. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, the guy was right. <laughs> anyway. Let's see what we got going on that one. Thank you, guys. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next one. This is a track that Tommy Johansson released today. It's from the Transformers film. I actually just checked out. I reacted to the original here by Mr. Stan Bush. I'd never heard of Stan Bush. I don't remember watching the film, actually, and I don't think I'd ever heard that track before. Maybe I'm lying. Hey, I'm not going to tell you either way. <laughs> anyway, I am intrigued to see what Tommy does with the track. As I said in the last one, I did have Optimus Prime. It was cool. <laughs> so, uh, so let's see what we got. Hopefully he makes fun out of the track. I'll bet he does. I bet he has a good time with it. Let's do this together and see. You got the touch! Tommy loves this song. He's putting his all into it there. I also said something I just want to correct real quick. I said, uh, hopefully he makes fun of the track. I didn't mean that, actually. I don't think he ever makes fun of music. I think that came out incorrectly. He makes the tracks fun. I, I said part of it is what I meant to say. So just to correct myself, because that was douchey. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs>
Oh, subscribe to Tommy. Subscribe to Tommy. There you go. I'll give you guys a second to subscribe to Tommy. Go. All right, you subscribe. All right, anyway, uh, some of those backgrounds look a little bit like Tron, man. Jeff Bridges would be like, I was no Transformer, dude. I was no Transformer. <laughs> uh, I love his passion for some of these tracks, you know, stuff that I passed off. I just listened to the original. I was like, it's kind of boring. The track was kind of boring. And I just picture myself like in a bar with this dude, Tommy, and, uh, and be like, no, that song's awesome. But like, that song is not awesome, dude. The song is very far from awesome, Tommy. And he goes, you are wrong. I'm going to do it on my show. I'm going to make it awesome. And you, Mr. Joel Rohde, <laughs> you're going to be like, that song's badass, dude. Transformers track song was better than the damn movie itself. Optimus Prime, that was his, his theme. He was like, dude, this is the best thing ever in the galaxy. So that's kind of what's going on in my head. I love that. I love the passion that he does. I wonder if these guys, you know, like Stan Bush, I, I didn't know the name. So uh, hopefully this guy's still around, right? And, you know, someone brings up one of his tracks from the, the dark ages of the 90s and, and covers it. And he's kind of like, you see, hon, I was cool. I did stuff. <laughs> anyway, that was fun. Thank you, Tommy. Transformers fans, there you go keeping the legacy alive <laughs> uh, I did enjoy that I always enjoy his videos I think that's why I always try to react to them guys thank you ever so much I look forward to seeing you on the next one let me know in the comments how do we how did Tommy do is this good <laughs> should this be the theme that would it Tommy should be the theme for the next Transformers movie it's a huge franchise now this could blow Tommy up dude It'd be awesome Sabaton will open up for Tommy Johansson. Ah, don't go there, right? It's too much, too much. Thank you, guys. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.